welcome back to DCS. I'm in the Spitfire again. Surprise, surprise. This is a test. This is a structural test. We are going to look at the wings and we're going to watch them snapping off. Or perhaps we're going to watch them not snapping off. So when I first started flying the DCS Spitfire, I snapped off a lot of wings. And I adjusted my control inputs to reduce the amount of input I was getting from my elevator. But I still seem to be snapping wings off quite regularly. And I was concerned that it was impossible to dive above 400 miles per hour. Looking at the ASI, 400 miles per hour being at the 10 o'clock position. And so I got very nervous about diving in the Spitfire because I assumed that if I went over 400 and tried to pull out of a dive, their wings would break. Let's have a look at the wings breaking. I'm going to go into a dive in a second. Just so you can see what I'm talking about. Anyone who's flown the Spit and DCS is probably familiar with this. Just get some airspeed here. 360. Coming up to 400 now. We'll pull back. And there we go. Goodbye wings. Goodbye pilots. So now the question I have to ask myself is, is the wing snapping off merely a function of going too fast? Or is it a function of something else? And it turns out it's a function of something else, as you would expect. I'm going to bring up my control input graphic in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. And that's done by pressing right control and enter on the keyboard. And as you can see here, I've got my um, roll axis, so when I roll the little diamond slides along that horizontal axis and I've got my pitch axis, so when I pitch the diamond goes up and down on the pitch axis. Now, if I apply maximum deflection, see where the pitch um, slides to, the diamond should go down and I'll apply maximum deflection on my joystick which is there and you'll see that the diamond is only about one third to halfway down the vertical axis. That is because I have decreased saturation on my input curve, but I can still snap wings off. Now we're going to go into a dive, and I'm only going to apply a very small amount of pitch in order to recover from the dive. I'm going to apply about this much. So see where the diamond is? The top of the diamond is just on the horizontal bar. Um, bottom left down here, the top of the diamond. So I'm going to go into a dive and I'm going to recover from this dive at about 460 to 480 miles per hour just to show that it's possible. Just gaining some airspeed here before we go in. What's my altitude? I think I've got enough height here. Let's go. So just keeping an eye on the airspeed indicator now, passing through 220. We now have about 300 miles per hour. 360. 400. 440. Okay, and gently back on the pitch. Look where the indicator is on the left hand side of the screen. It's 480 miles per hour, nosing up. And we climb back up. So that was very easy. There was absolutely no stress whatsoever there. The aircraft behaved admirably, but very easily recovered at 480. So let's take it a bit closer to the ground. Put a little bit more stress on the pilot to make the decision and we'll try and recover at 480-ish again now passing through 260 300 360 400 okay we're getting close to the ground i need to recover now that's 480 a bit more elevator a bit more elevator the top of the diamond now is on the bar and we've recovered at 480 quite comfortably. The pilot was uh, experiencing a little G there. He was puffing and puffing, but we managed to pull out. 
So it certainly is possible to drive at 480. Um, I would start recovering at about 460 and really gentle on the control of it. It's hardly a movement. I think my joystick, physical movement of my joystick is about two or three degrees. So it's hardly moving. You just have to recover early and nothing violent. If you do that um, sort of thing, the wings will come off. It has to be nice and gentle. So there we go. Certainly is possible. Uh, certainly is possible to recover from a 480 mile per hour airspeed dive. I did actually achieve um, a 500 mile per hour dive before when I was testing, but um, certainly 480. 480 is quite doable.